a warm welcome and good morning. It's Monday the 8th of October and I'm going to be talking about Gmail Advanced Canned Responses known as Templates. So on the screen you can see that in the description in Gmail Advanced what you're actually talking about is creating a template response. In other words, common messages using a button in the Compose toolbar. Now to get started, and what you can see on screen is a canned response that I have not yet saved to do with a fictional party in the park. So big shout out to the University of Arkansas's IT department here where they have said, and I will include this in the description, using canned responses, how to enable them, settings, how to look at labs, that's now called advanced, and then inserting a canned response. And then they put a new canned response in and then save it and use it. So I will put this link in the box. So let's get started in this demonstration to make it as thorough, but also as quick as we can. So this is what I want to do because in my um, fictional or test inbox here, what we've got is this fellow Mike Downs, my other self, has emailed me twice, once asking for a party in the park information and another one about the public Mike Downs, uh, the one that you, you know, me, in other words, um, and I've got a ton of links there. So this is how I do it. So first of all, this is a clean, fresh look at this. So we go up to the right hand side and we click settings and I'm going to go cog settings. Let's get this right, shall we? And we go in and this time it's advanced. Apologies if it's a bit small, but I'm going to be really quick with this. Top one, canned responses. Advanced, I think, is the new name for labs. And click, OK, click enable. OK, it's enabled. It's, it's normally set up as disable. Click enable. You can see on screen there's auto advance, custom keyboards, multiple inboxes, preview pane, which is interesting. I might try that out. Right side chat unread message and we hit save okay that's done then we go back and you'll notice that the first step if you like is to come in and open up a new message so I'm just going to insert that in the middle so you can all read it now this is what we do first thing I'm going to um, type some text now the text I'm going to type in actually is the one to do with the uh, party in the park. This is a fictional thing, by the way. All these things are fictional apart from the real life place, which is Inislas in uh, Wales. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, here are the details for a party in the park, and I'm going to copy that. I'm going to copy it, which is our template or canned response, and then I'm going to control V and type it in. You can pretty much see what it is. I think for the purpose of this, I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Then I'm going to go down, bear in mind this email is not being sent to anybody, it's just a template. Bottom right of screen, canned responses, and I'm going to new canned response, and top center I'm going to say party in park details. And it would be so useful if I knew how to spell party. There we go, and I'm going to click OK. All right, then I'm going to actually just close it. And then I'm going to go back to my inbox. And in this example, I'm going to say, right, now my information that I might send out to tons of people, fictionally, I can come in and I can look at this other Mike Downs who has emailed me. And I'm just going to show you the message. See if I can get it a bit bigger, actually, so I can read it. And so it comes in and says, there's my typical email, which says something like, Hi, what time and how do we get to the party in the park? Hit me up on the details. So I'm going to just bring that down. So obviously wouldn't do it this big if I was writing um, normally, but I'm making a video, aren't I? Of course I am. So therefore, right. So there we go. There's my reply completely blank to my other account. Bottom right of screen, three buttons, canned responses. Then the one I want is I want to insert party in the park or party park details, hit it. And as if by magic, we've got here are the details for the grand party in the park. This year, the location is da 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 da, old wooden fence and stuff like that. That's done. Now I'm actually going to send that email. And you can see, I hope, 
on screen that that's exactly how I've inserted a canned response template to the person who asked about it. In the next video here on this channel, I will be doing a time sensitive send because there might be information like the combination lock, which I want to expire to the other person. So let's just do one more to exploit this knowledge. So at the moment, and it's quite a long one, this one, what I've got here is this is just um, in Windows 10 Notepad is once again, I've got something which is a copy. And this time what I'm going to do is answer the other question. And what I can do, I'm going to do it slightly in a different way. I'm going to say, here's the answer. Now, bear in mind, this is the first time and I want to reply. And then I'm going to insert all of that information about, you know, subjectively the person who asked. Notice a big, big typo down there. Uh, message. Right. OK, there we go. And this time I'm going to want to see if I can save that canned response. And I'm going to say new canned response and I'm going to call it about Mike 002 and I'm going to click OK. Now let's just see if that's saved and canned response. And you can see that I can now insert about Mike 002 or I could save it as something different, or more importantly, I could start deleting things. So you'll notice there's an out about Mike 002 and also an about Mike Downs, which I know is wrong. So I'll click that and I will, do you want to confirm you want to delete this can response? Yes, I do actually. And then I'm going to say send. Then just to check this email, because I know once again, we've been here for six minutes or so. If you want to learn, then you have to give a little bit of time to it. So there's my two sends, the one, on the um, party in the park you can see is clearly sent with a canned response these are all fictional by the way apart from the place in wales and the other one is the you on the web one and that's a great question and of course these are real real life things because it, it is about me the main thing i if you're watching this video is if you leave a comment on this youtube channel i get that immediately on my mobile and also sent to gmail which is really useful and that is it. On the next video, we will have a look at using a time sensitive email, which is the one bottom right. Turn the confidential mode on and off. So good luck with that one. I so wish that um, Gmail themselves would actually write a help page on this, but they haven't maybe because it's a, an advanced feature that's not officially supported. I do not know. Just get on and use it. Good luck and see you in the next help video.